in thermochemistry, we're concerning ourselves not only with chemical reactions, but the heat that's either absorbed or released during those chemical reactions. So the first major concept we need is the first law of thermodynamics. The first law is also known as the law of conservation of energy. And it's written mathematically in this form. Delta E, delta means change in, so delta E is the change in energy or the change in internal energy. And that's equal to Q, which is the abbreviation for heat, plus W, which is the abbreviation for work. So it's easier to see with an example. For ex this case, we have our system, which is a gas inside a cylinder. Everything else is called the surroundings. So our system is stuck inside this cylinder. If we heat up the cylinder, the gas will absorb that heat and it will increase its volume from two and a half liters to six and a half liters. What's pushing against the gas is a constant external pressure which in this case has a value of one atmosphere. So what we want to be able to do is calculate the heat and the work and we have this formula for work it's equal to the negative of the external pressure times the change in volume. This kind of work is an expansion or compression work. When the gas expands, the work term will always work out to be a negative number. Because we have a negative, the pressure is a positive, and when the gas expands, delta V will be a positive number. So the multiplication of a negative and a positive and a positive gives us the negative work. If we compress the gas, everything would be the same except for delta V would be a negative number and then our work term would turn out to be a positive. So you have to do work to compress a gas. The gas does work when it expands. So the two parts for the first law we need Q and Q was given in the problem that it absorbed three kilojoules of heat. Absorbing heat is a positive Q. So Q is a positive three kilojoules or 3,000 joules. The work term we need to calculate with this formula negative external pressure was a constant one atmosphere and then we have delta V which is the final volume minus the initial volume. The final volume in this case was six and a half liters. The initial was two and a half liters. So our delta V is a positive four. Multiply by the negative sign, we're going to get a work which is negative four liter atmospheres. The problem is we can't plug into this equation when one value has the unit of joules and the other has liter atmospheres. So there's a conversion factor between liter atmospheres and joules. Negative four liter atmospheres can be turned into joules using the conversion that one liter atmosphere is 101 joules. So this negative four liter atmospheres equals negative 404 joules. So now we have the two parts. The Q term is a positive 3,000 joules. A positive Q means the system absorbed heat. That's endothermic. If our Q works out to be negative, that means heat is released. That would be an exothermic change. So there's our Q, and then we're going to add in the work term, which is a negative 404 joules. To give us our answer positive 2596 joules.